Is this a role that you find yourself in often and are comfortable with? No. <laughs> I see. Uh, I'm just inventing it for your purpose. My name is Avi Loeb. Um, I'm um, a bird, the professor of science at Harvard University, the director of the Institute for Theory and Computation. Uh, served as uh, chair of the Harvard Astronomy Department for nine years and director of uh, also the Black Hole Initiative. Uh, remind me, because I looked at it uh, a while ago when you sent me the original email, but what was the narrative that you had uh, in the subtitles of uh, the museum? Um, the narrative was that uh, he's, um, in the beginning, there's the motion of the stars. Okay. And a mumu is born and a song is sung. Okay. And so there's this theme song. And and then a mumu is hurled away and there is he passes dazzling sights and exploding stars. And um and then um embarks on the long period of nothing and is very lonely and there's a long cello solo. Uh, showing that part and um and then but he finds his courage and continues on and then um hits the 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 magnetic storms of outside of the solar system and so there's some tension there and i'm using a lot of um major sevens and more dissonant chords there to start that and then suddenly earth appears and there I have a lot of unison and um, um, and then Amumu is traveling, is, is leaving and it becomes a little bit more urgent and heartfelt. And then finally I said um, <clears throat> that uh, Amumu is into new vistas where time loses meaning. And so then, and then it kind of began similarly to the way that it started. Well, um, this is uh, pretty much a summary of my life, actually. <laughs> is, is, is that right? A song was sung at your birth? Well, most of it, um, there was nothing. Mm. But um, it started uh, a journey with a very interesting uh, initial uh, circumstances. Where was that pivotal moment for you? I would say uh, realizing that, uh, I mean, it's the mirror image of your picture in the sense that when uh, Oumuamua came close to us, for me, that was similar to Oumuamua approaching Earth. So I worked for uh, several decades on whatever the universe offers us. And uh, on October 19th, 2017, uh, something new was recognized in the sky. It was the first large object from outside the solar system that came close to Earth. That telescope was constructed when the US Congress uh, tasked NASA to find 90% of all objects bigger than a football field that come close to Earth. Because we know that 66 million years ago, there was a giant rock the size of Manhattan Island that killed the dinosaurs. And we are smarter than them. We can look up and perhaps deflect such an object. And so this was an object that did not belong to the solar system for the first time that we found. I was surprised by the discovery because a decade before that, I wrote the first paper predicting how many rocks of that size should we expect from other stars in the vicinity of the Earth. And we calculated based on what we know about the solar system that there shouldn't be any discovered by the telescope in Hawaii. And so when I'm wrong as a scientist, it's actually an opportunity to learn something new. It was um, a revelation that uh, we can discover objects of that size uh, from the reflection of sunlight. That's the, the light uh, post in our neighborhood. And, you know, um, we can only find keys under the lamppost. And, uh, and Oumuamua was one of these keys that tells us what happens far away. Uh, but we hopefully will find more because we just didn't um, examine it closely enough to figure out its nature and where it came from. And my hope is that uh, within the coming years, uh, we will know much more about the origins of such objects. And mm. uh, 
my wish is that among the natural objects that we, we will find, there would also be a package that was sent by a, a, a neighbor and it will lead us uh, in a completely new path for the future of humanity. And so um, I found your music beautiful and uh, enjoyed it and it was uplifting. And oh. um, I will Very keep you posted about the new discoveries that we make. Uh, perhaps it will uh, produce uh, in your mind uh, new music uh, and I look forward to hearing it. I'd love to. I'd love nothing more. Yeah. So let's uh, stay in touch. And uh, I cannot write music the way you do. And um, I will try to do my best in inspiring you to, to write it. Thank you very, very much.